Hey YouTube, welcome. Easy Builds here, making gaming easy for you. Thank you for joining. Today I'll be showing you how to benchmark like a pro. The only thing you need to download is MSI Afterburner. I'll drop a link in the description below. The MSI Afterburner installer will also install Reba Tuner. If you're opening Afterburner for the first time, your screen will look like this. I like to change the interface, but you don't have to do this. Go to Settings, User Interface, then select the skin you like. Most people use the default skin, but I like the MSI Dragon Army skin. After choosing your skin, go back into Settings and select Monitoring. Select GPU Temperatures and then check Show in On-Screen Display. Repeat this step with GPU Usage, Memory Usage, Core Clock, and Memory Clock. Scroll down to CPU temps and CPU usage. You can display all cores if you choose to. Next, go down to RAM usage. After RAM usage, you will see that there are no check marks next to any of the frame monitors. Check mark the frames you wish to monitor, then select show in on screen display. For my frame rate, I like to show a live graph for my viewers to see any frame spikes during gameplay. To do this, just select Show in Text Graph. If you were to push Apply and OK right now, your monitor display would look like this. As you can see, it just says FPS five times with no other information. You need to overwrite the group name for each FPS item on display. Click on 0.1% low, check Overwrite Group Name, then name it 0.1% low. Repeat this step with 1% low, Minimum FPS, and Average FPS. After overwriting the group names, you need to set a hotkey to toggle your on-screen display. Your 1% lows and 0.1% lows will not show unless you're recording. Go into Benchmark and make another hotkey to begin recording. Once you have completed all these steps, hit Apply, OK, and then close Afterburner. Open the game you want to benchmark and get all the way into gameplay before opening Afterburner for a more accurate reading. Once Afterburner is open, go back into your game and push your toggle display screen and start recording hotkey. It may take a moment for your display screen to pop up, but when it does, it should look like this. This concludes our video for today. Keep those benchmarks coming to help our community decide on performance parts. Until next time, game on YouTube. For those of you who made it to the end of the video, you'll now be rewarded with Pup Pup.